I just want to um, fill your heart and mind as best can be done given the circumstances. If you consider the Beatitudes and the strange context, the way a person in society socially conditioned to put appearance before being and then you say to them, well, blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those that mourn. And you run through the, the three triads of those beatitudes. It makes no sense to that mind that belongs to our time. But think about this. What happens to a mind awakened that sees without having to measure or weigh what is revealed to it? That it has a role in everything that has ruined your life. That you have a role in everything that has ruined your life and this world. What happens to such a mind? It becomes poor in spirit. It mourns, it hungers after righteousness. Because it, at last, it is complete. And in its complete understanding, it completes its role. These are the things that I don't know I, I, how they can be said other than to try and spill them out in some meaningful way that you might have a bigger picture of understanding the beauty of the only way in which real humility is possible. Real humility is the, the, of one of the flowers of freedom. Freedom comes out of humility. Humility. 